So the government shutdown over Donald Trump's wall may be over. However, the economic impact on some of the most vulnerable government workers is going to be felt for some time. Uh, now, the Washington Post did a, a great article every once in a while. They'll go and do some actual journalism and talk to real people and find out how they live, uh, which is great. I encourage that because it, it helps to know how real people live. Anyway, uh, in this piece, they profiled several of the lowest paid federal workers who were... Uh, obviously also missing uh, pay, such as uh, along the lines with the, you know, a lot of the other uh, federal workers that were on furlough, right? So now one of them was Audrey Murray Wright. Now uh, she's a cleaning supervisor at the National Portrait Gallery. So now she was one of the one, more than 1 million federal contract workers who during the uh, Donald Trump's shutdown of the wall had lost their income. Now, during that time, she recounts uh, talking about how much her bills are. She's got a $2,000 mortgage, right? Uh, mortgage payment, she's got a $168 uh, electric bill, et cetera, right? Now, one of the costs that she couldn't afford was her blood pressure medication. Not only that, but she recounts having to ration groceries. In fact, she said during this interview, quote, I never ever want to tell my son. Uh, she has two sons. I think it's 12 and 15, uh, and she, she were, uh, said, don't drink all the milk so you can save your brother some. So that's just like, Hey, we, we can't afford more groceries. So save what we have, right? Take a little bit less, put a little bit less in your cereal so you can save your brother, uh, some milk for his. So that's just some of the pain. Now she said that because of the shutdown, even though that it's over, she's still struggling to support her two children and that it basically ripped through her savings. Quote, I did have a little money in the bank. Now that's all gone. I don't have any help. My electricity might be turned off any day now. Now, of course, there are uh, administration spokesmen like Wilbur Ross uh, who came out there and said, well, I don't know. I don't quite understand what the problem is. They, they could just go out and take a loan. Or you also have Steven Mnuchin, who said, oh, hey, look, it's a vacation. Think of it as like a vacation when you're not working. Uh, and by the way, what are you worried about? You sound like you're not going to get back pay, right? Well, look, the 800,000 federal workers did get back pay. However, unfortunately, a lot of these contractors, or most of these contractors, actually won't get paid. In fact, uh, according to the Post... Unlike the 800,000 career public servants who are slated to receive full back pay over the next week or so, the contractors who clean, guard, cook, and shoulder other jobs at federal workplaces aren't legally guaranteed a single penny. So not only did they just lose 35 days of pay, they will not get back pay. That's devastating. And look, it's not the first time, too. There was, a, there was a shutdown back in 2013 over the ACA. Uh, Republicans shut down the government because they didn't want people to get health care. Oh, oh, my God, right? Uh, now, that was 16 days long. And, of course, you had federal workers, 850,000 federal workers at that time, that actually did get their back pay. Well, however, about 1,200 cleaners, security guards, and food service workers in the Washington area had received no back pay. No makeup pay whatsoever. And there are more examples. Uh, Julia Quintilla, uh, Quintanilla, sorry, uh, who has worked for the past 27 years as a janitor at the Agriculture Department and other federal agencies, said she cashed in the last of her sick days during the shutdown so that she could continue getting some sort of income. Now she's worried that she won't be able to afford taking care of her mother with dementia without risking her job security. Quote, her mental abilities are failing. She needs my help. The, the shutdown actually cost her about $1,000 in her savings. Uh, and of course, she ended up getting into debt for $1,000 and relied on churches in order to get free meals. Now, let's go back, of course, to Wilbur Ross saying, I don't quite understand why these federal workers are going to food banks. This is why. This is why. She is not eligible for back pay either. In fact, they said, quote, since you are contract workers, 
when the government shuts down, you're going to stay home. There is no work. Now, not only that, but you have Devon Russell. Now, Devon Russell is the security guard at the Smithsonian uh, in the Museum of Natural History. Now, when he ended up uh, getting furloughed, he ended up applying for unemployment. Uh, and look, she got, uh, he got, he did, uh, he was able to get unemployment, I should say. Uh, and that money ended up being quite a bit less than his normal paycheck amounts, right? Now, add to that that it didn't actually arrive to him uh, until last week. Well, that put him in a little bit of a financial uh, hard spot, right? Now, he says that he's thrilled to return to work, but says it's really hard to celebrate when I've lost a month of income. Now, he has a three-year-old daughter and says, over this shutdown, I lost about $2,000. I'm not getting that money back. I'm not going to see any of it again. He says, quote, I was, living, I was living paycheck to paycheck. When all the fun stopped coming in, I was just like, what do I do now? Well, there's not a whole lot you can do. Now, not only that, but you've got La, uh, Lanice Hamilton. Now, that's another uh, guard at the Smithsonian. Said she watched about $1,000 disappear from her bank account during the budget stalemate. She started her job in May, thinking that a government job would actually be more stable. Turns out, government job, not so stable. She said, quote, I thought it'd be better. Well, how much better is she off? Apparently, she said, I'm late on all of my bills. Every single one of them. Catching up, she estimates, will take about two months. And again, they don't make back pay, so they're not getting anything for that. And to add to it, those jobs, being janitor uh, or being a, a, a security guard, it's actually some of the lowest paid positions in the government as contract work, right? In fact, they're the lowest paid laborers in the government economy, generally earning between $460 and $650 weekly, according to union leaders. Now, in Maryland, Washington especially, this is not a lot of money, right? This is actually fairly awful. I mean, you heard before, one of those workers has a $2,000 mortgage. This is the cost of Donald Trump's shutdown. People, uh, their lives were wrecked because Trump and Republicans wanted to hold the government hostage for a ridiculous border wall, something that wouldn't actually solve any problems. And back, as I said before, in 2013, they did the same thing over, what? Giving people health care. <laughs> Republicans are the problem here. They keep taking these people's lives hostage in order to get their extreme agenda passed because they can't get it in any other way. I mean, look, for the last two years, President Trump had full control of the federal government on all branches, right? So he could have passed funding for a border wall. Why didn't he do that? Well, because he realized that his biggest focus was himself and giving himself and his friends and his donors giant tax cuts. So he focused on that. And then, you know, here comes 2020 coming closer. He goes, oh, right. I, I got to build a wall uh, because my racist followers really, really want me to build a wall to keep out the Mexicans. So now I'm going to hold the government hostage. Well, it didn't turn out very well, did it? Right. And, and you think they learn. But again, no, they didn't learn. Donald Trump's talking about shutting down the government again if they don't come up with a budget deal within the next couple of weeks. So here we go again. I mean, look, these people, these regular working people are not going to be able to go through another shutdown. There's no way. And so, look, it's important that we get these people's stories out to show you how not just the normal federal workers, which again, uh, have also experienced tons of hardship, but are at least are getting some sort of back pay that there are people actually worse off than them that also are being forgotten in this conversation and lose out every time Republicans decide to hold the government hostage over their extreme agenda. So let's not forget about these people and try to make sure that we elect politicians that won't hold the government hostage.
Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.